Hey, what's going on guys? I am out in this beautiful wooded area. This is actually a path as you can tell behind me. I'm on my lunch, lunch break sort of, a little bit of an early lunch break, whatever. Took a few extra minutes today. I've been putting in some extra time this week at work, so I'm just on a little stroll through the woods to, you know, clear the mind and wake up the body a little bit. Thought I'd make a quick little video about some of the <laughs> just an absolute insanity I've seen in some recent posts and stuff about uh, the extent of the mental gymnastics that people have to go through in order to justify continuing to exploit and eat animals. It's insanity. You know, one of the things that uh, most people like to say is that, hey, you can't ever be perfect, so why bother? You know, this whole reducitarian movement, this whole um, just apathetic and pathetic. If you can't do it all or you can't be perfect, then don't even try at all kind of mentality. It's bullshit. Um, you know, one of my, I say favorite, but one of the most common things that I see is like with cell phones and technology and, you know, I know people like Vegan Sidekick have, have touched on this a million times, but it just came up recently where, you know, people are like, this came up recently to me where someone's like, hey, yeah, but you use a cell phone and like, that's not cruelty free. So what a hypocrite you are, you know, calling vegans hypocrites because we, we use man-made things that like, yeah, of course it's not perfect. There's some exploita exploitation involved, but like, Jesus Christ, man, like, I don't even understand how people will walk themselves into circles and just go back to a vegan and defend animals and say, by saying like, hey, but you do this, but you do this, instead of acknowledging the things that they do. So meanwhile, you know, these people who are calling vegans hypocrites because they use things like cell phones or drive cars and stuff, like, <laughs> meanwhile, they're doing the exact same things. So it's just, it's hilarious to me. Like, it's absolutely hilarious to me. It's like, I can't go vegan because you use a cell phone. Meanwhile, I'm telling you that from my own cell phone while driving in my own damn car because that's the kind of idiot logic. You know, someone with those kind of mental gymnastics probably uses Facebook while driving. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. Anyway, I don't know. I just had to get that off my chest, but... So I'm out here in the woods and just kind of, you know, enjoying a little chill nature walk. And, you know, I was just reminded like this, you know, look around guys, like this is why I'm vegan and why, you know, I wanna do everything in my power to protect the planet and protect the animals that live on this planet. I mean, this is beautiful, you know? Like, you can't just go anywhere <laughs> in a in a city and, and see this kind of stuff. So I'm grateful that I live in a, in a nice, you know, rural area, but like, I don't know. It, it's like, when you bring up the environmental aspects of veganism and, and, and how much animal agriculture is destroying the planet. I wonder if people like even really know what that means. You know, they think, oh, there's some pollution or whatever, but no, like this is a this is a big deal, you know. This is this is the <laughs> this is the actual planet on which we live, on which all life exists. Why would we not want to preserve this? You know, it seems logical. It seems so easy that if you can do something, if you can make a quick choice that affects what's on your plate, that not only saves animals, makes you healthier, and also helps protect this. I don't know. It's just, it's such a no-brainer for me. But then I try to like, you know, when, when things like this get on my mind and I'm like, hey, what the hell's going on here? 
then I remember that, you know, the world is changing. Things are getting better. Things are like, I think slowly veganism is really working itself into the mainstream. We've seen that with a lot of, um, you know, big brands, big agricultural industries that are switching over to plant-based or, you know, the market is shifting for sure. So, you know, we're, we're kind of on the capitalist front making some progress for sure. Great, uh, great news yesterday. Anita, the woman who was standing trial for giving water to pigs on the way to the slaughter. She, um, you know, was acquitted. That trial was acquitted. She is not guilty. She could have faced like six months in jail for giving water to a pig that was obviously like in, in extreme distress, you know, dehydrated, dying inside of a, inside of a slaughter truck on its way to the slaughterhouse. I mean, so these are victories. These do set precedents, you know, when, when things like this happen. So as much as it's, it's horrible that Anita was arrested and charged with, with uh, criminal mischief and, and charged with whatever else it was, something to do with, you know, tampering with the property of the, of the slaughterhouse owners or whatever, like as, as much as that is absolutely ludicrous and is insane, it's kind of good that it happened and that we have this outcome because now it sets a, sets a precedent, at least here in Canada, that like, no, this is not <laughs> mischief. This is not, compassion is not a crime, you know? Compassion is completely acceptable, understandable human behavior, animal behavior that, you know, we should celebrate and that we need to recognize, you know? and. And hopefully when, when we have situations like this, when we have trials like this, and it gets so much media attention, mainstream media, hopefully it gets people thinking like, what the hell are we doing? Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this to our fellow sentient beings on this planet, this planet that we should be doing everything in our power to preserve, you know? Anyway, I don't know. Not sure what the point of this video is really, other than just to talk about a couple things, get some things off my chest while I'm out, just, uh, you know, enjoying nature. Getting some fresh air. On a little lunch break, so. Anyway, I think, uh, I think later I'm going to continue, for anybody who doesn't know, and actually I filmed a video yesterday and I ended up losing the file really sucks but it is what it is I think later I'm gonna go for a run I'm currently marathon training and so I'll probably take you with me it's just an easy jog today as part of the plan I'll probably kind of talk about some of the things that I filmed the video about yesterday so that's probably next coming up on my channel but I guess that's it thanks for watching guys enjoy this beautiful day hopefully it's this beautiful wherever you are one thing is for sure this planet is beautiful life is beautiful animals are beautiful and they need our help peace guys